Fight it out. Um, I think I got about partway through like the second or third season of it, and I haven't gone back to watch the rest. Apparently, there was a big strike over their production that got resolved recently, so that's good. Like, and and it was solved in favor of the people who were working on the show, and not the people who produced the show, so to speak. Like they actually got a decent, uh, decent uh, stake out of this. That that's good. I really feel like the animation industry kind of sucks in terms of like the rights that people have. Yeah, it eats the uh, and eats its talent alive. Exactly. Yeah. It's almost really like... both the animation and video game industry are both <laughs> having this problem. Like the crunch. <laughs> It's almost like I'm people don't actually it. value the things they they enjoy watching or, or playing. I do, which is why you know I've gotten to the point where like, um, as much as you know, it's it's tough. I sometimes will hold off. Like I I sometimes still, if you know, out of convenience, may find other means to get things. But I do try to spend money on those things whenever I can. Legitimate Especially acquisition. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I don't, I try, I don't do it as much as I used to, and also, I try to spend money on those things either before or afterwards as much as I possibly can. Um, I really feel like people who do good work should get rewarded for it. It's funny, I don't think I've. Okay, I haven't pirated a PC game for a long time. Yeah, I haven't pirated a PC game like. I don't have any reason to, because the systems are generally more. Uh, convenient than trying to pirate a game. Yep. That's how it should be. Take notes, guys. You shouldn't make it so difficult to play your game that pirating it is actually easier than playing your game. Take notes. Or someone be a test later. Spent money on your fucking game. Just, just a side note. A lot of people gotten better about this, but it's still kind of an issue sometimes. I'm still honestly very surprised that I got my 3DS back in the same condition I sent it in. And yeah, I have no idea how that worked out. I assume they were just like, well, we replaced the part, made sure it turned out, and that's it. Yeah, that's probably all they did. Here you can have um, it back. But, uh, yeah. But yeah, I, um... I've actually started to point like, I didn't used to buy soundtracks, I buy soundtracks now. Um, when I can, like again, when I can. I technically bought the Bloodstain soundtrack. You were kickstarted it, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I okay. didn't kickstart it. I kind of regret not doing it, but um, I'm, I still got to play it, and I'm pretty happy about. It. I'm pretty happy about that game. I got the. Uh... It's actually inspired me to want to go back and play like Symphony of the Night at some point. Well, you can so per you can, you can purchase it right now. Yep. Whatever, whatever the hell that little collection is. The castle. Yeah, I can, and I probably will at some point too. That's probably going to be a stream game too, uh, if and when I ever be finished Bloodstained. Um, well, I'm at this. a weird point. Like, I don't actually have any specific things planned right now, which is weird. Bloodstained's pretty much it right now. There's the. Uh, there's two different collections out right now. I think there's the the one with just Rondo and. Uh, Symphony, and then there's the one with all the old style Castlevanias. Yeah, I don't want that one. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Yep. Also, I heard it wasn't very well made. I it was in severe need of some patching. I could believe it. Like the version of the game that they use had some kind of major game stopping bug in it. Me, I'm just so, like if you if you fucking think I'm gonna pay any sort of money to experience Castlevania two again, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> That's fair. I went through that once as a child, never again. Mm -hmm. I've never actually played Castlevania two. Do yourself a favor, a don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also got Bloodlines at one point. I played that. That was kind of interesting. Its music is great. One of those, oh, yeah, it's one of those, the Genesis sound chip really fucking did its thing there. They had someone that actually knew how to use it, yeah. I actually don't know who did, uh, 
Bloodline I think that was my Yamane. Thank you. Whoever. Mitchell sure Yamane. I, I don't. I don't know. I'm. 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 Yeah. I'm screwing up the name. I already realized this. I think it might have been. Yeah, I think that might have actually been her first one. First uh, game. Could be wrong about that. Oh, I, my, my laptop's right here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I put putting in Castlevania and Google, and instead of Castlevania, like I just typed up Castle first. It's like Castlevania. <laughs> Castlevania games. Like, wait, that's just that's the actual thing. There's a series called Castlevania, and I never noticed. Wouldn't surprise me. It's probably some dumb mobile game. It was, in fact, Mitru Yamane. Alrighty. Yeah, I remember reading about that and being like, oh, yeah. That was the first, I think that was the first soundtrack that she did for Castlevania. But they, um... I kind of want to finish Rondo of Blood one of these days, but, like... It's hard. But that, but that game is, yeah, that game is also really mean. Um, but yeah, I, I also probably want to finish Super Castlevania Four at some point. That's, that's probably gonna be a stream game. Yeah, have fucking fun with that. <laughs> I don't know if I'll finish it, but I'll try. I don't think that's a game I finish in like one whole sitting. Oh, it's not. I'm never gonna finish in a whole sitting. That's gonna be like, you know me. I'm gonna play the game for like two hours at a time. I mean, like. You know what I mean? Like, playing it through and actually finishing it, like, in one one go, I guess you could say. Oh, that even, would even, never happen. Even that as would a, never, ever happen. Even when I was young. Mm -hmm. Renting it for the weekend or something. Mm -mm. That ain't happening. I could get maybe, like, three-fourths of the way through the game. Man, I remember... I, I miss old rental places now. Because, like, um... I remember when I was a kid... I thought we had this one place nearby called Video Update, and they just hey, had like Hey, Video Update. We came oh, movie gallery. Video yeah. They they existed in more places than Missouri. Okay. I think it was a Midwest thing, like Mr. Movies. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I never saw Mr. Movies. I had Blockbuster and I had Video Update. Um, and that was pretty much it. And we had Video Update here. On oh, Hollywood Video. We had Hollywood video too, but like, it was always too far away from my house for us to really go there. Yeah. Plus their selection stuff. At least here. But, yeah, basically video update had like just, like, at a point in time when the Super Nintendo was basically dead, they had a sh just, just this ridiculous, the one that near my house just had this ridiculous library of good games. Um. And they had Earthbound, and that was how I actually finished Earthbound, was I went through it from them, and just did that over and over again. I believe... By that update, point, it would have been rather difficult to purchase. The uh, video update is, what I think, that's where I played FF Final Fantasy Tactics the first time. Mm -hmm. I also played Secret of Mana from them. I played, uh, what else was it? I think I beat my old RPG off of them one time. My RPG. First time I beat it, I think that was a video update rental. Um, what else did I get from there? I played a game that I thought was going to be Maximum Carnage, but it turned out to be Total Carnage, which is really weird. <laughs> Don't you know that Carnage rules? No, it was like... Maximum Carnage is the Spider-Man game. Total Carnage is... It's like a robot game. No, it's not a robot game. Car it's Carnage like... Heart is what I was thinking of. That's the robot no, no, no. game. This game was like... Like a Contra type game. Like it was just two buff dudes uh, shooting yeah. things. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah. And I remember playing it, but, you know, getting it and being like... This isn't the game I thought it was. Well, well, let's play it anyway. There's like three games I can think of off the top of my head that have the word Carnage in it. It's Maximum Carnage, yeah, Total Carnage, and Carnage Heart. Right, which is weird because like I don't think I would put up with that now. But that Renting was the definitely wrong game. a thing that I used to... 
yeah, like I got the wrong game. Like that, I, w I would never have put up with that now. But like back then, it was like, oh well, what I got it now. Might as well. You're not gonna take me. Well, it's probably because I did. I would have had to be the one that drove, and I couldn't drive, so didn't have that option. I mean, my mom probably would have been like, okay, well, if you didn't mean to actually get this game, she would give me the benefit of the doubt on it. Yeah, no, my parents wouldn't have done that. Plus, we actually ended up having fun with that game, because it was a new fun. Even though it was the game we were going for. <laughs> um, let's see, what else did I play from there? I, I don't remember now. But like, I remember just like, they had just a ridiculous library of stuff that was really obscure. I think they had Claymates. Let's not talk about Claymates, okay? <laughs> Let's not talk about Clay anything. Yeah. Kind of glad that era's done now. We'll just we'll just pretend we didn't we didn't bring that up. You realize I'm definitely going to have a retro night at some point. And that game is probably going to wind up coming out at some point. Like I can still hear the theme song in my head. I prefer not to, but I can. Yep. Well, Clay Fighters anyway. Claymates didn't yeah. really have a theme song. It did have one, but it was not memorable in the least. I mean, every game has a theme song, but I mean like an actual sung theme song. That was a mistake. Um, but yeah, I, uh... There was another game that was kind of in that same vein that I remember really liking. But no. Oh yeah, I played a bunch of Bubsy off of them, too. See, I like... Bub Bubsy 2, specifically. I played both Bubsy games, and I'm just like, I don't know why everybody thought these were bad. They're just, like, they go on for fucking ever is the problem. Otherwise, they're just... They're competitive. They're mediocre platformers. Yeah. The second one was okay, um, but the first one I didn't play more than a little bit of. Granted, I never I played, I also like, don't have any desire to play the remake. I never played Bubsy 3D or anything, so... But everybody I think knows, that's the one people really have a take on with against. I'm the kind of person who's just kind of like, eh, whatever, like... I think it was the fact that people got sick of him talking. Yeah. I, like, I think that was, like, legit the main problem people have with it. Like, he just would not shut up. Sort of like, uh... The Gex problem. Yeah. That was back when you couldn't get enough words into the game to, like, actually make it worthwhile. And they couldn't figure out when was an appropriate time for them to be talking. So they would constantly repeat the same canned phrases over and over again. And by the time you were done, you were just like... You probably could memorize every single one of them and note and then type them by heart. And I, fuck, I rented a 3DO to play Gex. I did not do that. I, I just rented <laughs> it to PlayStation when it came out there. I do remember loving the loving the ever loving crap. I